What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be playing Brick Defense now. The only reason I'm, I mean, I'm not really gonna be playing this game, like specifically. I just want to talk about this game. Now, I was gonna make a video on this game like a year ago. I just kept like laying it back for some reason, and now this game fell off so hard. Um, literally right now you can check it. Brick Defense has zero players. I'm the only one in the entire world playing this game right now, which is really sad because this game is so good. It was in its peak last year in summer. It had, I'd say, I'm not sure, maybe 2,000 active players, 3,000. I remember during the July 4th event, it had at least 3,000 peaked. And it was such a fun game. I would like meet the devs because the devs were also really active and so were the testers. Uh, I met a bunch of them too. They were really nice and like, caring and having commands and stuff. And all chill. But yeah, this game just fell off so hard and because of one key thing. The whole point of the game, it was supposed to recreate like this OG kind of retro Roblox vibe while also making a tower defense game. And they fell off really hard by trying to make it new. They tried to make an old game new by, so the first thing that they did really bad is they did an overhaul update. So they reworked almost every tower and I personally hated it. So did, so did a lot of other people did. Um, yeah, it reworked a lot of the best towers. Like the, um, where is it if I can find it? The Exploiter. Everything basically got nerfed to the ground at the point where some game modes are just unplayable at this point. And then after that, what happened was they reset everybody's ticks and they also reset everybody's points too. I mean, they added points and they reset everybody's level too. It's just, I don't know why would they. I don't know why they would do that. And they replaced it with this kind of new system: money earned and damage dealt, and you get the fridge tower and stuff. Some skins, some swords, so it was pretty cool. But yeah, um, another thing they also did was they just stopped updating the game at all. As soon as the players started leaving, they just gave up on the game. And, and, and what they did is they just uh, reused old updates, which is pretty lazy. But I can't blame the developers, they were working hard grinding out updates last year, especially. And the game was so fun. I, mean, I have like, I don't know, 500 hours in this game maybe. And it was all like last year, which was such a vibe. You know, I've never played this game with a whole It was just so awesome. But yeah, um, I just want to talk about this game. Maybe if you were the devs, see this game. I don't know. Maybe because I just, I missed, I, I really, really missed this game. I played this game, like, I started playing in like, what, 2020? I, I should have made a video earlier on it. But um, yeah. I did also meet a bunch of YouTubers and played other games with up with other fellow YouTubers too. I have a lot of towers in this game. I used to grind this game all the time. But um, all the all the Omega oh they have so many Omega towers. And they did maybe update this game sometimes. But um, yeah, I really 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 miss this game. If you did dev see this, update this maybe add some features because. They, they were used the April Fool's update twice. They, again, the, again the, the, the thing that reminded me to make a video about this game was that they brought back the Friday Madman for the third time, no, the second time, again. Like, it's not even a good tower, and they just said, yo, we're too lazy to make, I mean, we can't make a Halloween update. So, yeah, this is a tower. If you beat this thing, it has a small chance of spawning. Yeah, yeah, summer 2024, 20, the most, that most active players I've seen this year was in January. There was like 60 players, maybe, because of a um, winter event. That was the overhaul that mostly made everyone leave. They re re reset everyone's stats and stuff, and nerfed every single tower to the ground, and everyone hated it. And that's when everyone left. But um, yeah, if you guys ended up enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe once again. I, rec I don't, honestly, if this game does get updated, they, again, they, they like, they need to fix their towers, because I don't think it's possible to be easy mode anymore. I mean, last time I checked, I haven't played this game in a long time, but, 
last time I checked, you can it's not it wasn't even possible to be easy mode because of how bad the towers were. They run off to the ground. Even the most expensive towers, like engineer, if I can find it, I have it uh, here somewhere. Engineer. Where's this guy? Yeah, he's so bad. He used to like do 150. I mean, I don't know, but he used to do so much more. And he's so much more expensive. This guy used to be early game. He used to cost like 600 a place, if I'm correct. Also. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm, I might be lying about this stuff, guys. But it also had a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of secret admin commands that take you to, sell, to secret places to get secret towers. And back here, there was a secret path. You would that would uh, be old tribute to Eric Castle. There's so much cool stuff. I was exploring this. This this game had such a good community too. But, uh, anyways, I got a little off track. If you guys did, I've been doing this video. Make sure to make sure to like and subscribe. Come out and go check this game out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.